Hello, I'm Peter Bin from Hashtag Daily K. Please enjoy Easy as Canada with Minji, which airs in hour number two every Friday. Spice up your Fridays with the most exciting way to learn Korean. Explore the Korean language through the magic of movies, dramas, and music on Easy as Canada with Minji. It's a Friday. This music is playing. That can mean only one thing: that Minji is in the studio. How are you doing, Minji? Hello. <laughs> I saw you on the first floor today as we were coming up together, and I saw the hassle that you have to go through as a weekly guest to get your pass. For each entry, so now I appreciate you being on the show even more, Minji. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's you... always my pleasure to hear. Oh, that's lovely. Have you had a good week? Anything exciting happen or planning to happen? Well, I opened my、um, beginner course. Mmm, nice. Yes.、Yeah, so, How's it going? Um, it's overall it's good. Okay. Because、um, many students are started to enroll my course. Lovely people.、Yeah. If you want to find Minji's content. For her, she had her YouTube channel for the longest time. This is via your website,、mm-hmm. which is what、uh, about the beginner Korean. And how can they get there? What do they need to type into the oh, internet? Oh, so they need to type minjiteachescorean dot com,、uh-huh. um, and you can meet me、mm. every a week, like once a week. Oh, actually, meet you. On, I mean, on like, like online, stream. Yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so it's like live streaming、um, wow. course. So I, you do like a a、mm-hmm. lesson for multiple people on a live stream once a week? Yes, yes, that's、wow. right. And the syllabus is like completely, um, like how to say, built、uh-huh. to. Uh, about the beginner Korean. All right. So it would be very helpful. <laughs> I think for many of our listeners, you know, that's the stage that they're at. Beginner Korean. We do have a few like intermediate, intermediate, even advanced listeners as well.、Mm-hmm. And I do also think that maybe we have some Korean listeners who might not need to learn Korean so much, but learn <laughs> English. Hopefully, you can get that through Daily K.、Yes. And that just shows how lucky you are to have us、uh, have Minji on the show. Because she's running that course, right?、Mm-hmm. Uh, Tigerish says, "Yeah, I'm、uh, seeing the class being offered. I wish I could afford it. Maybe not at the moment. Sorry, Minji. Maybe、oh, save、right. up for it, Aaron, and then you can do it. Or on、yeah. Daily K, this is like a little teaser, a taste. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got our three lines of Korean to learn as ever. So why don't we preview those before getting into our acting? Okay, so the first sentence is." 막내 도망갔다는데 무슨 소리야? 막내 도망갔다는데 무슨 소리야? Yes, it means. What does it mean that the youngest one of the family ran away? What does it mean that the youngest one of the family ran away? Yes, Ooh, that sounds a bit worrying. Okay, sentence two. 근데 나 책임질 수 있어? 근데 나 책임질 수 있어? Yes, but can you take care of me? But Can you take care of me? Yes.、Mm, this、That's、is an interesting story. And sentence three. 밥은 안 굶길게. <laughs> 밥은 안 굶길게. Yes, I won't make you starve. All right. That seems like the response to the previous question, right? Yes. That's okay, right. Okay. Those are the three sentences. We will try and write up the pronunciations so you can check it out and.、Uh, There are some pronunciation tips before we move on to setting the scene. Oh yeah, so in the first sentence there is makne, like that's the how it is written. Makne. Yes, but it has to be pronounced as mangne. Mangne. Yeah, the ng sound. Mangne. Yes, and、uh, in the、uh, third sentence,、uh, in the syllable of kum, like、uh-huh. the lil mim consonant, double consonants. It has to be pronounced as kum gilke, like kum. Kum. Yes. Kum. Kum gilke. Yes. Kum gilke. Okie dokie. Those are some good pronunciation tips for when you send this in.、Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to do so, that's via Kakao Talk, where our username is Daily K. All right. So we're going to do some acting from either a movie or a drama. So if you want to get on board. 
then you need to listen to this, be inspired by our Oscar levels of professionalism. <laughs>、uh, what is happening in today's scene? Well, today's scene is related to the male character Do Eun.、Mm -hmm. It's talking about that he would like to quit his job to、uh -huh. his wife. Okay. Like he decides to resign it、uh, for the sake of his family. Uh, mm -hmm. Because、um, it, he he has been working as a, an undercover agent for the National Intelligence Service,、oh. so a lot of especially dangerous things happening around、uh, to him and his family. And now, because this is this scene comes from the last episode, so、oh. everything is kind of settled down. Okay. Yes.、Yeah, so, and he's saying, "I don't want to do that anymore." Yes.、Uh, but more like he wants more like peaceful life from now on. His family know what he does. Yes, but in the very beginning, beginning episodes, he、mm. secretly worked as an agent. Ah, and then it comes out a little later.、Mm -hmm. The other thing that we want you guys listening to do is try and guess what drama or movie this is from as well. That's right. If that brings any hints to mind,、um, I'm guessing it might. If you've seen it, okay. So, what character am I going to be playing in you as well? So your character is that. Secret agent who would like to quit his job,、okay. Kwon Do Hoon, and my character is his wife, Kang Yura. All right, so I'm going to be trying to say we should be doing something different, or I don't want to do this anymore. Let's take it away. How are Miriam and Bong Bong? They are both healthy. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. By the way, Minsa texted me. 막내도망갔다는데무슨소리야 Nothing. You don't need to know. Oh, honey, I'm tired. Can I quit this job? Only if you say yes. 근데나책임질수있어 Hmm. 밥은안굶길게 <laughs> You just made my heart flutter. That was really romantic. My heart literally skipped a beat. I've been always romantic. Oh, so I'm hoping, I'm expecting from that kind of scene in, like you said, the final episode.、Mm -hmm. This is maybe coming towards a, a happy conclusion, a light conclusion. Yeah, that's right. That's、mm -hmm. right.、Okay. Actually, when it comes to this drama, yeah, the the main event. Uh, uh, that occurs throughout the drama is about the NCD organization.、Uh -huh. It's like the illegal organization, and the Dohun has、mm. to chase the, all the criminals. Okay. So it's kind of very suspicious, and is it like a thriller rather than a light-hearted kind of comedy? Oh, as for that kind of scene, yeah, it's, it's thriller because Dohun is also known as a veteran sniper. Oh, so there are kind of those scenes. That is serious. Yes, but but when it comes to this family, it's、um, happy. Okay. Happy scene. Yeah. In terms of some extra hints for the drama, who are the actors and actresses involved in this? So the Kwon Do Eun is acted by Chang Hyo,、mm. re really popular actor, and my character is actually Chang Nara, ah, a famous she's sweet, actress. Yes. Famous. Yes. They've acted on many things together, right? Yeah, I actually have noticed about this、uh, before I research about this drama. But they also have collaborated in the drama called、um, Myeongnang Sonya Songgongi, like Cheerful Girl,、mm -hmm. and also the same goes for Fated to Love You,、wow. and yeah, and so on. Wow, they've done I think four in.、Uh... In their careers,、mm -hmm. but this is the first one for a very long time because they're veterans in Korean entertainment, right? That's right. I'm、yes. sure many of our listeners have watched them in a drama or two. Okie dokie. So make sure you send in your skits,、uh, not skits, your lines from our skit. And、uh, one last hint: there's another famous character or famous. You can't say actor, can you? There's a famous dancer in this drama as well. Yeah, so this is kind of random, <laughs> but、um, famous dancer Gabi. 
Yeah, Isn't to... she from that street woman fight? That's thingy? right. Okay. That's right. Um, I'm sure her dancer name or crew name yeah. is Lachika. Uh-huh. And anyway, she revealed that she tried her first acting challenge in this drama. Oh, goodness. Making her debut on the small screen then. If you want to see it or you have seen it, then that might help as well. Welcome to Arirang Radio. If you are in Jeju, 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Seogipu City, 101.9 in the Daejeon area. That brings us back to part two of Easy as Canada with Minji in the studio. We're doing a drama or a movie with the lines that we acted out in the first part. I'm trying to check out some of our listener guesses and messages. Yana from Malaysia says, Chang Hyuk and Chang Nara don't age much, though. Yeah, I can't agree with you more. Really? Like, Chang Nara is also famous for Dongan, mm. Dongan face, young face. For looking young yes. all the time. Yes. Yeah, because Chang Nara has been around for ages right since the 90s maybe yeah so it's really but you know if you look at the picture of our from the debut it, mm. it doesn't really di- different so, what is her secret to staying young i would young? like to know tell us <laughs> chung nara let us know please uh we do have a guest for the drama in question which is from benny mm-hmm. family the unbreakable bond is that correct and sis girl also saying Family, the unbreakable one. Yes, correct. Well it's a family, done. unbreakable bond. What is the Korean title to this then? It's family. Family. Yeah. Which is the way we say family. That mm-hmm. reminds me of the old variety show with Yoo Jae-sok and Lee Hyori. Mm. Family ga datta. Ah, that's a really good show. Yeah, that's so long ago that that was airing now. Maybe more than 10 years since it finished. Um. <laughs> But that's the title in Korean, and then in English you get the extra, The Unbreakable Bond. Mm-hmm. I see. So, yeah, that's the name. That's a recent one that's finished? Um, it is finished a month ago. Mm-hmm. Like May 23rd. Okey-dokey. That's dokey. the finishing date. So I wonder who watched this. Yeah, looking at the photos of the cast here, t a n g n a d a really does look the same as that. Really young, cute-looking lady. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How does she do it? Please do get in touch. There's maybe lots of collagen, I might uh, <laughs> suspect. Um, yes, r a u l says, Peter, are you eating some candy while you're talking? I, I am. I've got a little tickly throat, so if I don't have some candy in my mouth, I might start coughing. So apologies if it affects the audio. Fingers crossed it won't. <laughs> Any more to tell us about the drama itself? Um, so, like I said, uh, there is the illegal organization. I just mispronounced it, but it's actually MGD. MGD. Yes. Just the name of this fantasy mm-hmm. bad organization. Yeah. And what they do, actually, they illegally smuggle the arms and like, things like that. Oh. So, k w a n d o n want to chase them and kind of invest the case. There's an amazing cast for this as well. I see Lee s u n j e like Korea's grandfather, yeah. is in this. Yeah, and uh, if you look at the later episode, there's also the famous actor c h a i m p y o Yeah, was there's, there. there's a film on the flicks about him with his name in the title. Mm-hmm. Something like Being c h a i m p y o and I think it's kind of a... satirical comedic look at his life like literally playing himself in the movie oh actually the name is um lee j o n g m o aha his yeah. character in this yes yeah. yes and also actually a random character was in that drama mm. you know chu s o n g u n chu s o n g u n yeah like the fighter you have Uh, I'm oh. not sure it's the UFC, but... Okay. Yeah, c h u s o n g u n was also in some of episodes. Just, like, playing a small role? Mm, yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> I thought that's really <clears throat> random, but amazing. That's a huge cast, isn't it, for this? Yeah. Okie dokie, we're going to get to your voice clips and teach you the sentences now. So, let's check it out. Miss um, Andriani saying, Yeah, the second couple, c h a n g Hyuk's little brother and his wife... They're pretty funny in this as well. And also the daughter that we mentioned in the skit is -hmm. also very cute and funny, says Miss Andriani. Right, right, right. I was actually going to talk about this. Mm. So, Tohun's younger brother's um, copper 
their character like um, kind of immature mm. and pure but funny. Uh-huh. So in the scene, uh, Dohun was like 막내 도망 갔다, the youngest one, the the brother ran away. Yeah. So when you said that first mm-hmm. in the opening, I mm-hmm. thought, oh, that's very dangerous. But it didn't seem like they were taking this seriously. Right. Right. So um, in this scene, it is because the youngest one kind of felt fearful because. Uh-huh. His child is about to be born, oh. but as a father, like the big responsibility, he the feels burden. really fearful. Yeah, so he hides in the restroom. Oh, so not actually <laughs> ran away, ran away, but okay, uh, he's just missing for a second or two. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. All right, that's enough background to the drama. Let's go on to the language aspect of this corner. We're going to play some of your clips and teach you some of these lines. Here is Marilyn from New Zealand with, I believe, sentence number one. Mm. There was like a bit in the middle that sounded a bit muddled and then... I don't know, the bit at the beginning and the end sounded pretty good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sure there's something like misunderstanding. Mm. But it, it actually 도망갔다는데. 도망갔다는데. Yes, somebody um, ran away. I've heard that somebody ran away. Ah, I see on the lines that we uh, put up, we accidentally on some of these put kumandotta mm. instead of tomangatta oh we do apologize but we can teach you that as well <laughs> i suppose it is yeah an actual uh expression uh, yeah actually when you look at that exact scene because mm. jangyeok pronounced really quickly ah. it almost sounds uh, also like kumandotta ah, yeah so maybe that's why our writer has sent to some of our listeners the wrong uh, hangul there. But that does also make sense, so we can teach you that. Let's do both of these then. So from that point of view, mm-hmm. uh, what Marilyn said was maybe a little bit more on point, right? Magne kumando tarande. Yeah, so Musun Surya. Yeah, kumando da means to quit. To quit. Yeah, so at some point it can be um, understandable. <laughs> okay, so to quit. Uh, but the line that we're teaching today, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. quite tricky for me to say as well. Mm. So, 도망가다 means to run away from something or someone okay. because you're either chased or want to avoid it. 도망가다. 도망가지 마. Like, don't run away. I remember hearing this as a kid in the playground and mm. stuff, like when you're playing games. So cute. Yeah, so <laughs> this is the act of running away, right? Yes. Tomangkata. Yeah. Tomangkata. Not and... like you're not chasing someone, right? Yeah, okay. you're actively run away. Mm-hmm. That's tomangkata. But this ending is a bit tough for me. Tomangkata yep. there. Yeah, so this nun is used when you quote something that mm. you've heard. So I've heard that he ran away. This is the past tense because there is katta. Katta. Yeah, that's what you heard. Katta nende. Nende. Yeah. So that ending, katta nende, nende, saying, yeah, I heard or it seems that someone's run away in this mm-hmm. case, the mangne at mm-hmm. the beginning. Uh, let's take another voice note this time from Teto. Here we go. Again, mm. apologies for sending out kuman totadende. Yeah, but same ending though. Mm-hmm. So kuman <laughs> totadende would mean you know I heard that they quit or mm-hmm. gave something up. Yeah, yeah, that worries. Mangne kuman totadende. Okay. But in this sentence, it's mangne tomang gatadende. So just taking that into account, you gave us the pronunciation tip. It's not mak ne, mm-hmm. but mang ne. Mang ne, always mang ne. Mang ne, mang ne. The, the kiok pachim and the nian of the next sound kind of blend in together. Yes. Make it nice and soft. Right? Yeah, when kiok is followed by the nasal sound, like the sounds come from your nose, mm. it gets similar. Ah. So it um, same goes for the kukmul, for example, ah. the soup. Kungmul. Yeah, we don't say like kukmul, but kungmul. So the miam, like the nian, mm-hmm. is considered a nasal sound. Yes. Uh-huh. And it's actually way easier for you to pronounce it like mangne. Mangne. 
mung ne. Yeah, try doing muck ne. Muck ne. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking another language almost. Okay, so that means the youngest in a certain context, right? Yes. We're talking about in the family here,、mm-hmm. but it can mean you hear that a lot in idol groups as well, right? That's right. Or、um, in a certain department, for、mm-hmm. example, in an office. Yeah. If you're the youngest member, then you'd be considered as mangne. And you might be told to get the coffee or something like that, perhaps. <laughs>、right. In more old school cultural offices, I suppose. <laughs> These days, not so much with the MZ generation. <laughs>、uh, let's listen to another one then from、uh, Benedict. Here we go. Ooh. So I found just one thing. Okay.、Um, k- uh, kuman. Totanunde. Yeah. That's a little pause there. So it should be all together.、Mm. So, kuman totanunde. Kuman totanunde.、Yeah. If we were saying they had quit or we'd heard they'd quit, right?、Mm-hmm. And then the bit that is totally fine, the same as the sentence we're teaching, musun soria.、Mm-hmm. So, musun soria means like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. What are you talking about?、Mm. Like, And literally. Literally means like what sound? What sound? Sorry,、yeah. means sound, right?、Mm-hmm. But it it can also mean like words.、Mm. So if you say like ongtungan <laughs> sorry, that means like absurd words. Absurd words, right? Literally,、mm-hmm. sound, but sorry can be a synonym for words as well. Something that's been said. Yes. Musun meaning literally like what? 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 what What noise? What sound? <laughs> But what are you talking about? Is the expression here? Yeah, it is used a lot, commonly used. So it'd be great to know. 무슨 소리야? 무슨 소리야? Yeah, the time that I've heard that the most, maybe 소리 is, I don't know how it's spelled, but I think it's pronounced 헛소리. Mhm. 헛소리. That's also a good word, 헛소리. Which is like. Ridiculous talk, right? <laughs> Things that don't make sense, yeah, right? Like hostori hajima. My mum says that a lot, right? <laughs> My mum does. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's an older generation、yeah. thing, but to their kids, when they think you're talking nonsense, <laughs> they'll be like hostori hajima. But is that spelled like hot, hot? Yeah,、sorry? yeah. Shiot. Okay. Shiot batim hot. Sorry. But when it comes together with the sorry, it sounds more like hostori. Hostori hajima. Okay, we're teaching you all sorts of things here. Hola a todos, cómo están? Estamos escuchando Arirán Radio desde Buenos Aires, Argentina. Where are you listening from? Let us know. Leave it at arirangradio.com. All right, we've got some more sentences to learn. More people's clips to play. This is number two from Raúl in Argentina. ¿Quién na chequim geo suizo? Ooh. Good effort, Raúl. Yeah, I love the intonation at the end.、Cause... Yeah, it sounds like a question, like、yeah. it should, right? But the、uh, chegim has、mm-hmm. to be more blended. Okay. Not like chegim, but chegim. Chegim. Yeah, chegim. 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 And to my ears, it kind of sounded like the word or the sound after chegim chil,、mm. more like chegim chil suiso,、mm. but chil. Yeah. Chil. Chegim chil suiso. So that's the key part, I suppose. So let's look at that word then, maybe. Chegim. Yeah. yeah. So chegim jida means to be in charge,、mm. like to be responsible for a task or duty. So you can call a person in charge, can't you? All with responsibility, like chegim jia. Hmm. Right. 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 That's But, a noun for that person. Yeah, the cha denoting the person. But this is the the verb chegim chida. Yep. So to be in charge, to be responsible for something. Hence, in here, it's chegim chil or momo. Yes. 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 It's modifying the next、uh, following sentences. Okay. Let's get to another one from Yana. Here,、um, you said you've cancelled the first and last one, so I'm not sure. I think this is your sentence too. Let's take a listen. Here we go. 
Oh, I think it sounds natural. Well done, Yana. Yeah, nice. So in this case, the husband is asking the wife, right? If I quit my job, <laughs> can you take care of me? Can yes. you be responsible for me? That's the kind of feel to this, right? Mm-hmm. So chekim jisu isa. So that ending. Can you explain a bit about that, Minji? Um, so something su ita means to um, be able to mm-hmm. or can in English. Okay. So it means like, will you be able to take responsibility for me? Mm, okay. So in Korean, unlike mm-hmm. English, the word order is the same. It's just how you say it that dictates whether it's a question or not, right? Check in jisu isa. Means I can be responsible. Yeah, that's a declarative sentence. Whereas, but if you raise your tone, check him to see, sir. You're asking. <laughs> you're asking. Okay, you're asking. Can you be responsible? Can you be in charge? Can you take care of me, basically? Yes, that's the meaning. And the common um, sentence with the check him to that would be 집안일을 <laughs> 책임지다. That's another example. <laughs> to be in charge of the chores yes. at home. 집안일 means like household chores. But the way Yana said it, it reminded me like of some romance dramas I've, I'm sure I've seen. Mm. Like where before you get married or before you commit long term, you might ask your spouse, not your spouse, but your other half, can you take care of me? <laughs> you know, can you be responsible for me? Yeah. So maybe a girl saying to a guy like, you know, if I get with you, maybe in the Joseon times, right, you've got to be responsible for me mm, kind of thing, mm, right? Right. Uh-huh. I think that kind of question sounds um, not responsible <laughs> <laughs> for each other, right? I think so. Uh, looking at the beginning of this as well, why don't we just play one clip again? We've got this uh, sentence too from Marilyn. But chicken deal is Mm. Marilyn's from New Zealand, and that to me sounded very much like New Zealand Korean. It was like oh, that yeah? chicken jil sui sa, <laughs> like a kind of Kiwi accent yeah. to it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, except for the jil pronunciation, mm-hmm. overall it's good. Good, good, good stuff, Marilyn. Yeah. Thank you so much for sending us your voice clip. And... So the start of this, mm-hmm. Minji kunde. Kunde means like but. But. But Koreans start um. Like begin their conversation with this kunde mm-hmm. a, a lot, yeah, frequently. With, without really meaning but in some occasions, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's you just can just way. put kunde. 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 But, but I guess in English sometimes we do that as well. Mm-hmm. Because I think in this it's following the flow that he is um, saying, I'm going to quit my job, blah, blah, blah. Let's have a quieter life. And then he's saying... But can you take care of me? Yeah, so it kind yes. of makes sense here, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, and then the na they're just saying, you know, can you take care of me? Can you be me. responsible for me? Mm-hmm. Can they na taking care of me? Yeah, and then yeah, this is so funny in Korea. If it was the different intonation, can they na taking care of me? That would mean I can take responsibility. Mm. Yeah, you kind of declare that. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. Okay, let's get to our third and final sentence before we run out of time. This is Teto's. Here we go. <laughs> One more time. Pavan and Gumgilke. I love effort. it. Yeah. Um, as for the Pabun, mm-hmm. it has to be also blended more. Pabun. 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 Yeah. Pabun. Not, Not like pabun. Pabun. No. Pabun. 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 Lots of what we call in Korean like yonam, right? The blending of those sounds mm-hmm. together. Uh, let's look at the key phrase here that you gave us a pronunciation tip for then. Yes. Uh, the key verb is kumgida. Kumgida. Yeah. It means to make someone or for someone skip a meal or meals. Ah. That's kumgida. So Kumta, which mm-hmm. I'm more familiar with. Yes. That means what then? You just actively skip a meal. That's kumta. Ah, you starve yourself or skip a meal or mm-hmm. something like that. But if it's kumgida. Yeah, you force someone skip a meal. You're forcing someone else to. Okay, you're not giving them food, basically. Yes, that's kumgida. kumgida. Okay, let's get Benny's sentence from the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting pauses, Benny. <laughs> Pabanan. 
굶길게. It sounds like um, rappers <laughs> rapping. <laughs> but banan, kumgilke. Yeah, but uh, I love it. So I I guess this kumgilke is might be um hard to mm-hmm. pronounce. It has to be kumgilke. Kumgilke, because yeah. it's got the double pachim there, the lil and the miim on the first syllable. Kum, kum, yeah, kum. The, the ignore the first lil consonant. Don't try and say yeah, that, right? Kumgilke. Yeah. So what does that first part mean? Papun an. Uh, so pap means like cooked rice, mm-hmm. but I think in this context it means it just means the meals. Yeah. And un means like as for, as for meals, uh-huh. and an means like not. So you won't force them to skip a meal. Or you won't starve them, mm-hmm. right? You'll That's be able to meaning. take care of them, yeah. right? Let's hear Rao's sentence from Arjun. Oh, no, you didn't send in three, Rao. Oh, tut, oh. tut, tut. Yana, though, you did. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh. Was that good? Yeah, especially the babun part. It's super natural. Babun. Yeah, and not like gum. Mm-hmm. But kumgilke. Kumgilke. Yeah, I know it's a tough, but just some um, kum. There's, there's no like sang kyok sound or mm-hmm. anything here, right? Mm-hmm. Kumgilke. Kumgilke. Uh, at the end though, the ke is a bit of a sang Yes. Right? So it's kind of confusing, but uh, in the first syllable, it has to be kyok. Kum. But at the end of a syllable, it has to be ke. Kumgilke. Ke. Yes. Ke. Good effort, guys. Well done, indeedy. Thank you, Minji, for coming in and teaching us as ever. We're going to see you again next Friday. Yes. Thank you so much for having me always. And I'll see you guys in the next time. Okay. That was Easy as Canada with me, Peter Bint, and Minji, which airs in hour number two on Fridays on Hashtag Daily Cake.